I'm now going to look at paragraph and text border and shading. That one, you have to use a file which is called document formatting. But I've got it here, document formatting. Right, there are four articles here. With each main heading, a paragraph border and shading. Right, there's that head. Susulu wants suits and ties for teachers. It was written in 2013. Hmm. It's Lindy Susulu. That's a main heading. Scroll down. It's a small heading. That's a small heading. Small heading. Another big heading, another main heading. This is all about teachers' clothes. Main heading and main heading. Right. I said that I want all main headings to have a paragraph border and shading. Right. Put my cursor in the main heading. I want it to have a border and shading. Now we've just been to borders. It's there. Borders and shading. I want it to have a border, paragraph border. But a paragraph border. That's nice. And I wanted a paragraph border there. With there to borders and shading. Borders, box, the paragraph. I would like the main heading is also to have shading. I want the main heading to have a paragraph border and shading. Put my cursor in heading, borders and shading, shading. Let's get a color. The paragraph. Paragraph. Shading. Borders and shading. Shading. Paragraph. Oh. I want all the main headings have paragraph borders and shading. I want the subheadings to have a text border. That's a subheading. Text border. Now, because it's text border, I'm going to select the text. Borders and shading. Box. Text. Not paragraph. No. I want it to have a text border and shading. Again, select it with text border. Go there. Borders and shading. Borders. Box. You can choose the width of your line if you want to. Apply it to the text. And I would like some shading. Make sense? Okay. Next. I want the margins to be 2.5 centimeters top, bottom, left, right. Margins are here under layout. Margins. Custom margin. 2.5 2 all around, not the gutter. Then I want page numbering. And I want page numbering in the format X of Y. Once you get page numbering, you go insert. Insert. 
page numbers. I want them at the bottom and I want them on the right. I want them in the format X and Y. Let's scroll down and see if I can find it. There's X, There's X of Y. I want them on the right. Yes. Let's look at this. This is the second page of five. And this is the third page of five. And this is the fourth page of five. I want you to use page numbering in the format X of Y for me. And when you're in your classroom and you have exam papers to print, this is useful because you will know if a page is missing. You know, page numbers that they should be. Right. Last thing, change the bullets in the document. I will need a new different bullet, but I want all the bullets to be the same kind. Now, if we decide we want that bullet, we want bullets there, I want a new bullet. Let's take that one. And I want all of them to be the same kind. And you will see here the most recently used bullet. See at the top, recently used. All of them. Right. This is what we did in class on Saturday. And then I again repeated, go and practice, go and practice, and get ready for the test, which will be on the 8th of September. Those things, all those topics, and those topics are listed beginning here in the demonstration in class. They're there. Download them, keep them on your flash drive, and look at them again and again and again.